So I'm here today at Peterson Fluid Systems. So if you're not familiar with Peterson Fluid Systems, uh, I'm here with Mike Morton uh, that's, that's been working here for, for a long time. Mike, can you tell us what is Peterson Fluid Systems and, and what do you guys do here? Sure. Uh, Peterson Fluid Systems is a manufacturer of wet and dry sump oiling systems, mainly for auto racing. Uh, we've had products in NASCAR, uh, dirt late models, sprint cars, midgets, drag racing, endurance racing, road racing, just about anything that has a motor, we've probably put an oiling system on if it. If it involves a car and it goes fast, there's a chance you guys can build an oil pump system yeah. for it. Perfect. So, so basically, if we wanted to know about oiling systems and, and things to look for uh, to optimize oiling or, or things to watch out for, we've come to the right place. Yeah. Perfect. So, so let's start at, 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 at ground zero and, and talk about what is a wet sump oiling system. So probably 95% of the production cars that are out there right now have a wet sump oiling system. Mm -hmm. Supers have wet sump oiling systems. But what is that? What does that mean? When you refer to a sump in either a wet sump or a dry sump, what you're referring to is the oil pan itself. So in a wet sump system, um, you hold the oil in the oil pan itself. That's where the oil resides until it's going to be used by the motor. So the oil is pumped out of the oil pan, through the motor, and then it drains back down into the oil pan. Okay, so, so basically just the, the, the oil sits in the engine in the pan, mm -hmm. and so you have a, a pickup that pulls it out, oil pump that's attached to the engine that, that basically sends it through the engine, and that's it. So that's a wet sump system. That's, that would be a wet sump system. So as you start to modify a car, you start to really try and change things such as, you know, power that it produces, if it's, if it's a forced induction engine, the amount of boost pressure that you're running, if you want to change the engine RPM that you're, that you're running the engine up to, sometimes you can run into limits of this system. Mm -hmm. what, are, what are some of the, the aspects of a wet sump system where, where you would start to run into limits where you start to have to go outside the box and try and modify sure. the system? Um, the limitations of a wet sump system, uh, one would be uh, oil running away from the pickup. So if you're in a, well, say a long high G corner on a road course, um, you could have the oil climb up the side of the pan away from the pickup. Same thing in a drag race situation on launch. Um, if it's a hard enough launch, you can have the oil run up the back of the pan and then on deceleration, once you cross the line, it'll move to the front very quickly, can get away from the pickup. Okay. Um, the other issue you have is in a stock oiling system, like on a Subaru, the oil pump is on a one-to-one -one with the crank. So if right. you're spinning the, the uh, motor to 10 grand, the, the pump is spinning at 10,000. And so you have right. the same, you have an issue um, where you can go into cavitation with the oil pump, which is right. not really good for anybody. So if you're, like, in that scenario, if you're spinning the engine to a much higher RPM that the pump was not designed to operate in, mm -hmm. the only way you can fix that is to then go somewhere outside of the box, move, move the pump away, so right. that now you're not, the, the speed of the pump is not dictated by the speed of the engine. Right. So, so basically, when you, when you start to run into the limitations of these, the stock systems that are all very, very much part of and driven by the engine, that's where you have to start going outside of the box, and that's where Peterson comes in. Yeah, yeah. So the first step, I think, um, in anything as far as budget um, and depending on where you have room and, and weight concerns yeah. would be to go to something. That, now, this is one of the few products we carry that we do not manufacture, but is an AccuSum. Okay. Um, what this does is you build air pressure into one side um, of basically the point where you want the oil to come back into the engine if it drops below, if that makes sense. Okay. So um, say, you know, if your oil pressure drops to 30 PSI or less, drops below that, you would load 30 PSI into this. Um, as your engine came up in oil pressure, it would fill this up until it hit an equilibrium. And then if your oil pressure ever dropped, say in that launch situation or in that high G corner, this would push oil back into the motor to maintain, to make sure you have enough oiling at your bearings cams, all of that. Right. So this is so the AccuSump is basically a chamber mm -hmm. that holds air and oil. And so as your as your oiling system would make more pressure than what the pressure in the chamber, it will fill it up. And if the pressure in the system drops below that, it'll push the oil back right. in. Yep. And you could do something like a remote mounted oil filter so that if if the oil pressure at, at that point where the engine the oil is actually entering the engine drops below the threshold of the, the system, it'll actually push oil in and basically maintain oil pressure in the engine even though the oiling system is not right. able to do it from all on its own. So this is something mm -hmm. that's kind of like an, like an external little help 
um, to maintain that pressure. What are some of the advantages of, of this kind of a system? And what are some of the limitations, would you say? Um, the advantage of it is it's fairly small. Um, it's not super complicated. Um, it's a little bit on the, you know, it's slightly less expensive than going to an external wet sump system. Okay. Um, you can pre-prime the engine before you fire it with this, which right. is sort of a nice thing. Right. Um, the, the drawbacks of it is you have to mount this guy somewhere. I mean, right. you have to find somewhere in the engine bay to mount this, um, and there's going to be some weight to it. So, I mean, and, and it's a finite reservoir, so it, it whenever, the, whenever the pressure drops below that threshold, it can, it can kind of act as a, a support system to maintain that pressure only insofar as there's volume of oil in this That's chamber correct. to feed it in. So mm -hmm. if it's an ex exceedingly long corner, you might run out of the, the, the oil in this chamber. Or if it's, you know, high G corner into another high G corner, you yeah. might be fine in corner number one, but if it can't refill by the time you get to corner number two, mm -hmm. then it, it, yeah. So there, not, not to say that you would always run into that situation, but it, it's definitely better, you know, if you need something to augment your oil pressure, right. it's better to have it than, than not. It's true. But there are some limits to how much of a fix it could be. Yep. So, so let's say, let's go to the next thing you mentioned, an external wet sump. Right. So, so first, let's explain what that is, because we were talking about that earlier, and I had a, a little bit of a hard time wrapping my head around that. Sure, sure. Um, so an external wet sump pump would replace your internal wet sump pump. Now, this is the one that, one that we make. Um, this is a rear drive for, for another pump, so okay. excuse this part. But um, basically what this does um, is you would, you would remove your stock oil and pump. Right. And this would mount to the side of the block on a V8 or the top on a Subaru. Right. And you would drive it with a pulley on the crank. Now, the benefit of that is that you get to choose how fast this spins. Right. So, again, if we go back to that 10,000 RPM motor, we can slow this guy down so he's not uh, right. going more than 6,000 RPM, which is sort of its sweet spot. Sure. Um, the other benefit of this is we have uh, adjustable oil pressure. Right. So, we can adjust the oil pressure. Um, you know, say you end up going to larger bearing clearances or something like that where you need a higher flow of oil and you need right. to adjust your pressure. Um, this is infinitely adjustable. Right. Um, whereas in a stock pump, you can shim a relief, you can do a few little things like that, but it's not really... Right. You can't just go up and adjust it. And, and how this would work, and this, this is what was wild. So in a, in a stock wet sump system, you have a pickup that sits in the pan, pulls oil from the pan, the oil pump is on the block and it's basically pulling oil through the pickup and then sends it through the filter and then into the engine. So here, you would actually pull it from the pickup outside of the pan to the pump mm -hmm. and then back around to go in where you know the filter would be or what have you. Right. So, so you, you're, you're still using, this, you would still use a stock oil pan but then like pump the oil out and then back into the engine. Yeah, and, and the, the benefit of that is you can choose where to put the pickup in the pan too. Right. Um, you know, not saying that you might not need to use an AccuSump with an external wet sump in certain situations, but the nice thing is um, when you go to an external wet sump, if you're in a drag racing situation, you can put that pickup towards the back of the pan. Right. Um, you can do some different things with pickups to help in a road racing situation. So yeah. you can start adjusting some things um, to kind of benefit the type of racing you do. Right, and probably um, even the shape of the pan even. You know, because if, mm -hmm. you're, if you're now customizing the pickup and the routing and help that comes out of it, you can, it's, it's much easier to customize the pan to be whatever shape is more ideal, the mm -hmm. pickup location. Right. And, and then you have a lot more customization with the wet sump pump compared to even just a stock pump, just because you now it's outside and you can, you can manipulate it in a lot more ways. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. So there's, so that's, we'll, we'll call this part one. So that's, you know, that's what a wet sump is. And those are, you know, the AccuSump and an external wet sump. Those are maybe the first couple routes that you could go if you're running into minor issues with oil pressure, oil volume, what have you, where mm -hmm. you need to modify your oiling system to try and improve its performance. Yeah. So, so stay tuned for part two, and we're going to dive into to dry sump oiling systems. Dry sumps. So, yeah. Fun. Be good. So stay tuned.